real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff John Eicher says his daughter is married to the defendant. And from the start, the defendant has been a father's worst nightmare. John says the defendant couldn't hold a job because he had a drinking problem. And John is suing him today for car payments. Defendant William Torrey admits that he wasn't perfect and even cheated on John's daughter, which he deeply regrets. William insists John had an agreement with his daughter to make the car payments, not him. And he's countersuing for harassment. Let's start with you. The defendant, Billy, is my son-in-law. And I knew from the beginning that he was a father's worst nightmare. I, oh. <laughs> and when was that? Oh, when God. was the beginning? <laughs> when they met, my daughter met him in co while well, they were in college, 12 years. Uh, 12 years ago? Yeah. So 12 years ago, you knew he was bad news. Yep. Why? I knew he was drank too much. Oh, OK. I tried to warn her about it, but uh, she wouldn't listen because she was in love. OK. What was the relationship like from the outside? Because you don't know what was happening in the household. They might have both been getting drunk. <laughs> so, but what else made you feel that he wasn't the right guy? Well, during the years, he had many jobs. And uh, that's a good thing. He's getting promoted mm -hmm. regularly. Well, <laughs> but it was always a, a period in between jobs. I need a little rest as fast as he was. <laughs> as fast as he was moving up the ladder, he had to take a little time to rest. Uh, Go ahead. Well, so you believe he couldn't keep a job and you believe he drank too much. All right. Yes. Did the two of you get along? Somewhat. We were cordial. I had okay. to be. Good. You know. Uh, That's right. Smart we dad. Had, we, we had words. Oh, we've had words. <laughs> Defendant William Torrey is married to the plaintiff's daughter. But he admits that they are divorcing because he had an affair. You tell me about the nature of your relationship with your father-in-law. I have, I have nothing against my father-in-law. Okay. He's uh, done nothing but, well, be a father-in-law. I mean, uh, we've, we've had our words, but uh, my wife and I, we met in college, and yeah, we partied. I mm -hmm. mean, my wife and I, and I mean, Your Honor, I'm not perfect. I uh, cheated on my wife. Uh, in Hawaii, I worked on the cruise lines as a chef and uh, cheated on her. Um, and ever since going through the divorce, we've, you know, we've been to uh, marriage counseling and all that stuff. Yeah. And since the, since the divorce, my wife left in t uh, October of 2010. So we're still legally married. Um, even three months ago, she let me stay there and he didn't know. And either did his mom because the rule was I'm not supposed to be there, but I stayed there for three weeks and we talked and um That's all you ever did? Talk since then. <laughs> That's all you did is talk and play well, cards? Or? No, we Yeah. We, we we actually were not uh, we haven't been together. All right. So tell me about this car. How does he owe you car payments? Yeah, well, in I think it was two, early two thousand seven, they moved to West Virginia to be near his family. And I, I thought it was a good idea because mm -hmm. everything that ha went wrong in their relationship or if he lost a job, it was my fault. He had no friends, he said, and he had nobody to back him up. So when he moved there, I thought that was going to be a good idea. Mm -hmm. And he got, while there, he got a job as a chef. <laughs> he was making good money. And they needed a better vehicle because by then my daughter was pregnant with a third child. But he couldn't get a loan on his own because of poor credit. And I guess his parents wouldn't cosign. I don't know for a fact about that. But he called me and asked if I would cosign. And I thought he was turning his life around. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do it because of my daughter and the kids. And he kept that job for a while and made a couple, some payments. And he lost it. And he couldn't make the payments. That left me making the payments. And from August of 2007 through June of 2008, I made 11 payments of $424. Totaling? $4,664. All right, and that's what you're suing for today. <laughs> Sir? Your Honor, uh, I never, the van was not mine. I had a silver Kia by myself. Ended up getting rid of that. The one was in your name and mine. Yes, as a co-signer, then it was, <laughs> it was yours. Your Honor, it was, it was to build credit, but it was not my van. 
So the van was hers. I mean, I've never said anything. She drove it. For, for it was three, in your name. For three, four you years, I've never been told to make a payment on this minivan. Never. I had my own car. And then I got rid of you that. You had for a couple months line. before they took it back from you for not making payments. So, <laughs> he didn't pay them no, I, either. I did. It was under my name. And I got well, rid that, of it because I went on the trip. Because... You keep trying to separate the assets, sir. When you're married, there is no separation of right. assets. It's Absolutely. all joint property. You keep saying that wasn't mine. That was hers. Your, your Honor, two months ago, and I'm sorry to interrupt, sir. Two months ago, because of the divorce, it's, ba it's basically because of the divorce. At least two months ago, he came up and said, if you don't start giving my daughter more money, I'm not court ordered for child support, but if you do not start giving her more money, I'm gonna do something you don't want to know about. I said, what, are you gonna try to do something with the kids? He said, no, I am gonna sue you. So trying to get money, since you're not making any child support payments, somebody's gotta help my daughter. Your Honor, <laughs> she's going to behind, school. Right now, she's going to school. Your Honor. She's working 20 to 30, 35 hours a week in a daycare. She takes care of the kids and cleans the house. But she can't make enough money to pay all the Forget bills. Forget about that. You need to pay for his kids and pay for his transportation. <laughs> yep. That's the way he looks. Your Honor. Your Honor. Pay for him to ride around, pick up his other women. Your Honor. <laughs> yep. Right. And he's right. There's no court order uh, child support. But, but when does that morally, what does that mean? Anything? But Your Honor, behind closed doors. A man doors, takes care of his kids. Not morally, legally. You still legally well, have to uh, pay. Just because right. it's not going through, and it should, sir, if you were smart, you would put it through the government right. child support agency because one day she might pop up and say, Your Honor, he ain't okay. giving me a dime in 10 okay, years. I've already got a statement and on that. And you start saying, well, I did. I gave her $50 here. I gave her yes. $300 there. And then she says, no, nope, prove it. Okay. And then I'm even if you prove it, the court could say, well, that was a gift. It's okay. not child support. Defendant William Torrey is married to the plaintiff's daughter, but he admits that they are divorcing because he had an affair. Why shouldn't you pay? You say because it was for his daughter, who was your wife? And even if you had not co-signed, liabilities that benefit the family are joint and several, meaning he could sue either both of you or one of you. And instead of suing his daughter, he chose you. I don't know what else you expected. <laughs> <laughs> Your counterclaim for 2500 How does he owe you for 2500 Just for, you know, just that remark he made for... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he uh, promising to sue you? He, yeah. he kept his promise. He didn't lie. <laughs> you can't sue him for defamation right. because he didn't lie. <laughs> Uh, that didn't harass me, sir. Unless he was calling you every hour, every day for several days, then you have a harassment claim. But telling you he's going to sue you unless you take care of business is not harassment. I'm going to grant him his claim, $4,664, and dismiss yours. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. I'm just doing this to try and get money to That's support right. my grandkids. Right, right. You That's know, fine. well, I'm, 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 I am doing more than he thinks. Me and my wife behind closed doors, we, we have our own thing. I just think he's a well, little. Well, I have too a statement from her saying you're not. So, so. <laughs> but uh, it's over. I have nothing against him.